How is everybody doing today? Uh, if you're like Victoria here, you're probably a little bit tired. I don't blame you. It's just been one of those weeks. I mean, hey, leave us a like if it's been one of those weeks because, man, I'm feeling it. But you know what? I'm pumped because I got a really fun one today. And it's been something that's been like on my mind that I wanted to design. And I'm like, screw it. I can do live streams about this stuff, so let's just do it for the live stream. Because what can go wrong? Seriously, what can go wrong, he says. Uh, Nuno says, hello, how you doing? I'm doing all right today, I'm doing all right. Uh, anyways, give people a few minutes to get settled in here. I gotta turn the music down on my side so it's not too crazy. I try to add some new music every week, Allison, so I apologize if it's a little bit weird. I, uh, we have a subscription called Monster Cat Gold, which lets us kind of use their music wherever we want. Unless sometimes we get copyright claims for it, which is really weird. Um, still working that one out, but hey, whatever. Um, yeah, so we're going to be making some stuff for my shower, of all things. So I recently bought... Uh, <laughs> And it was not because I wanted to. So let's let's go into why Grant had to buy a shower. And I should have brought the piece with me. But uh, Miss Amber, Miss Amber was using the shower, and uh, she likes to play with the settings because I don't know. She likes it. And uh, she went to change the setting, and she broke the threads on the shower head. So not on the pipe. The pipe is made of steel. The shower head was made of plastic. I said, all right. Screw it. Gonna get a new one. And uh, I've always wanted to try one of the rain shower heads, right? The big square rain ones. And that's what I ended up with. One of these. Ooh, that is... I guess I should have taken into account that is a complete and utter mirror. So yeah, there you guys go. That's, uh, that's my desk. <laughs> and the stuff above it. Uh, <laughs> I never thought about that, that you'd be able to see stuff. But yeah, you guys get to see, like, uh, through the mirror. What it looks like. Yes, my desk is actually industrial shelving because it makes it really easy for us to use. I should paint this. Uh, what is the best vinyl cutter to buy right now? Have someone ask. I showed them a video and they wanted better reasons. I would go for a silhouette personally right now. Um, the thing with silhouette is buy the biggest machine you can afford. And I say that, well, I really do say that with any with anything it's like look if uh if you can afford the 24 inch buy it because you will want bigger eventually get the biggest one your budget can afford so always go for the biggest vinyl cutter that you can in my opinion uh and yes thankfully it wasn't even glass that amber broke <laughs> amber's at work right now allison but i am going to send her that message and I'm going to send that to her in a text message so she's... I'm going to send her a picture of it so she can see it. And say that I'm so glad that the subscribers also know. I'm so glad the subscribers also know. And going to put a heart on that. And I'm going to send that to her. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we got one of these rain shower heads. And honestly, they're pretty damn great. And if you guys want, I will set, I'll put the one in the chat that I bought, but I really like this. But there is one downside. So, as a lot of you know, I've got a messed up... Ooh, oh, I, I can get good... Can I get good lighting? Oh, yeah, I look like I can get better lighting with this. I've got a bad back. And, um... The bad back means that I really do need that extra pressure when I'm showering. Uh, to really, like, basically massage me while I'm showering. And these things, while they do just dump water on you, like, it's going out of style... They don't have good pressure. Now, I could go through and model new nozzles, 3D print them in res. I don't know. I'm not going through all that BS. Uh, because this thing, I'm going to put this down here. This one actually comes with, ooh, I'm sorry, Miss Vicky, it fell off. I know, I know, I scared you. It comes with a off-head handle. Well, when I'm taking a shower, I want the off-head handle kind of somewhere I don't exactly know where yet but um, this is basically how everything is set so this comes off of uh, the adapter and so it sits kind of like this 
And so I want this. Oh, it's still dripping water. Great. I want this to mount somewhere like that. So that's what we're going to work on today so that I can get variable pressure as well as lots of water. Um, in the United States, uh, shower heads do limit you to two and a half gallons per minute. But if you're like us and you live in the middle of nowhere, so you don't have a sewer, you have a well. Uh, I only pay for the energy to pump it out of the ground, and it basically filters its way back through to the aquifer here in Florida. So, um, remove those restrictors already. But we are going to build, effectively, a mount for this. That, oh, there is water. Oh, there is a bunch of water in that. All right, all right. I let it drain for like two hours and clearly it didn't drain completely, but it needs to... I guess I don't need this because of where I want to mount it. I don't think I need this this hose anymore, which is totally fine. Eh. Hose goes away. Uh, what we need is we need to get the sizing of this and we are going to find a way to mount it to this somewhere just like that. Miss Victoria is trying to help, right? Yes. By the way, can we get a like on the video for the cat? We got the cat here today. She's hanging out. The ever effervescent Miss Victoria. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this bad boy. We don't have a lot of viewers today. Is like everyone's lives getting crazy or something? I'm only showing like two people. What's going on? But, uh, all right, let's jump into it. Let's get rid of Big Grant. Let's bring up Small Grant. And uh, let's bring up Fusion 360. And let's make it happen. So, for this one, um, hmm. Oh, well, I'm probably going to start from the top like I always do. And if it's wrong direction, it's the wrong direction. So, I'm going to use the comments this time. Give myself the comments that I need. Save this document to add comments. Cool. Showerhead thing. That's what I'm calling it. All right, so let's jump into it and make all this happen. All righty. Uh, we got to get some dimensions. So the first dimension I want to work on is the actual holder for this. Now, we do have to worry about the, uh, the adapter piece here, which lets you go through and select. And so, you know what? Let me put the... Uh, I'm going to put the shower head that I bought the exact one in the chat right now so you guys can see it. With the shower head pointing to it so you guys know what's going on. So, let's get some measurements from it. And, uh, yeah. This one's going to be fun. I don't know how successful it's going to be, but I'm excited to do it. So, we're first going to figure out... We've got an issue where this thing necks down, but I think we can use that to our advantage. Realistically, it needs to fit at its widest point and at its shortest point. But if we can have something where we can slide it in, we should be okay. So I need to really make sure that we handle this diameter, right? So it can slide in. But I don't want it to... God, I am getting so wet. I'm going to need new pants after this. Oh, well. It is what it is. All right, so we're going to design something that will fit over it, and then it should kind of lock in up there. It's going to be similar to a microphone mount. It's kind of the way that I'm thinking in my head. So let's go ahead and design this out, but we're going to need some dimensions first. We are... That's a really weird number. Oh, it is... Okay, so it's 27.5 millimeters in diameter. So 27.5... 27.5 millimeters in diameter. Okay, cool. You guys can barely see that. Yes, ma'am. Are we good? Are we happy? Are we a good little kitty cat? No. You've been out for my blood today. She's been on a bitey rant today, and man... Cat, I'm the only one that goes on grant rants. You? Oh, no. Oh, here we go. No, 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 ma'am. Oh, well. Uh, here we go. Cat's walking across the keyboard. Cats walking across the keyboard. All right, Missy. Missy Elliot, I need you to figure out what you're doing here because I've got a show to do. Ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, excuse me. Hey. Hey. Miss Victoria. Okay, come here. Back to your bed. All right, well, I'm going to pick you up. Rah. Say hi to Victoria. Hi, Victoria. All right. Whatever. You're gonna play these games today. I don't have games. I don't have time to play games with you. 
so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get to work so 27 and a half inch uh 27 and a half millimeter diameter let's get that set 27.5 Beautiful. So that's what we're really looking at. And we can see that it looks like it might get a little bit bigger, but I don't think it does. Yeah, 26. Nope, it definitely gets smaller because the calipers stop there. So it gets smaller as we go down. So as long as our system fits this, we should be good. I'm going to go ahead and do an O for offset. I'm going to do, because Amber's a little rough on this stuff, we're going to do a... Uh, a three millimeter offset that should give us plenty of plastic to work with here and uh, we want to eventually maybe shape it but maybe we don't hmm this is gonna go on and it's gonna fall all the way to here which is kind of the idea so if we go up to 27 and a half I'm gonna go to 27 and a half of my calipers good enough close enough Interesting. Okay, so it should stop right about there, which is perfect. That's really what I wanted to do. So cool. That should be pretty simple. All right. Um, we want to leave probably a small slit in it. So L for a line. We're gonna do L and X to go ahead and get our construction lines. One's gonna. Oh god. We're still on X. All right. L comes out there. One more time for good measure to go straight up. Because, like we did last, like we did with Kenzie's parts, we're going to go ahead and uh, and figure this out. By the way, if you guys are just joining us, we are building some parts for a shower head. I posted it earlier in the comments. Let me know if you need it one more time. Um, yeah, also, if you guys haven't seen it, we do a podcast every single week. And this past week's was our Father's Day special where we actually brought my dad on. And, uh, yeah, it was way too much fun. It was basically like a father versus son's roast session. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. I totally recommend you guys look at it. Honestly, it was one of my favorite podcast episodes to date. Uh, it just felt really real. And I know that sounds really weird, but that's, it just felt really real. And it was cool to have, uh, my dad participate in this stuff. Because he doesn't always do that. Um, and that's okay. Because, you know, he's a busy guy and he's got stuff to do. But it was really cool to have that happen. I am trying to pull this little dot corner. There we go. To there. Because I want to set this dimension. I want to set this to like four. Um, and then we're just going to mirror it across. So we're going to mirror this object across that line. And that should give us enough kind of wiggle. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. We actually have to do it big enough. Ha, Grant almost screwed up. John McAfee died? No way! Rip John McAfee. Apparently John McAfee died. That's a thing. We actually have to make it big enough to fit this. That way, uh, you can put it on. So I gotta measure this diameter, because this diameter is the important one. Bring the madness, indeed. Oof, 22. That's gonna be a tough one. Alright, well... Let's see where 11 friggin' millimeters from the edge gets us. This is why we love CAD, though, because we found our new number. Hmm. I really want that to be something like that. I'm gonna probably gotta make this, probably gonna make it 12, honestly. Boy, that's, uh, that's a little tight there. But, we're gonna make it work. Alright, let's, let's see what we can do here. Grabbing that little line button piece right there has been tough. All right. That's not as much grip as I would hope for. Um, what does the line actually reach to? The line cuts all the way down to 14. So you know what? I'm going to go instead of here. Right? So I, I was measuring it to here. The line itself right here is 14. So, all we really have to do is make it fit the 14. So, I'm going to, instead of doing 12, I want to do... No. Um, hmm. I think I have to make it this big. Because we don't, we don't... Because of the way the thing is, is put up. So, it basically stands like this. I'm going to bring up Big Grant real quick so you guys can see this. So, it stands like this. 
And I want this to fit here. Well, I guess I could make it big enough to fit in. But it's gonna have to be very straight. I'm gonna have this hang down, like, here. Because we need to, right? We have to have enough room to get stuff in. And it has to be basically dead straight or be able to rotate. Um, we could viably put it on this rotation mechanism that we have here. But this also is, like, the waterproofing part of it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's cool. John McAfee was born in the same place where Allison grew up. Hey, gotta love that. So, yeah, we're, we'll make it far down so we can push it in. But this is one of those that I don't expect to be a one-and-done design. So, uh, yeah. Who the heck knows? Let's take a look at it. All right, so I'm going to leave it at the 12. I just think it's safer to do it that way. Yeah. 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 See, man. All right, so that's our first one. Let's do an extrude. We want to extrude it up. I'm going to take a look at this here. I can see that it starts to... Oh, there goes the, the pipe is gone. Uh, it starts to neck down somewhere like the 60 millimeter range, but I don't want to go that much. Um, I would probably think that 50s, 45, 40, maybe 45, let's do 45, and I am gonna, I'm gonna taper it out a little bit, and, uh, what we'll do is, this is just for the outside, well, you know what, we could do that so it locks in, but it locks in backwards, Yeah, so if you if you put it in this way here, going down, um, it's going to get caught as soon as it hits that. Which might work to our benefit. But it might not. Alright, we're not going to taper it right now. We might choose to do it later on, but we're not going to taper it right now. Alright, so we've got... This is the piece that's going to hold our, uh, our components. So I do want to fill it these edges quite a bit I don't know one yeah one's fine and we don't know which side we're gonna put this into yet so once we know which side we're gonna put it into then we will uh, we'll do that so this should actually enable us it should be flexible enough that we can clip it in uh, so that's okay I'm I almost want to get rid of this over here I don't know. I don't really think it changes anything for us. We'll leave it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not really moving anything. So, okay. Let's do that. Let me get the main shower head component. We got that here. The main shower head component, I want it to basically kind of clip around all of this round space here. So, let me bring up Big Grant one more time for you guys. I want it to basically grab here, okay? So it will, it'll hit this. Uh, John said because they were embarrassed that a dump survivor person was born there in the same town where Allison grew up. I don't know. His later years were a damn roller coaster. Dude was a train wreck. It was a guarantee that he would have died from OD or in a prison. Well, that's, uh, more morbid than I care to get in this live stream. So, uh, yeah. It's going to want to fall. It's going to want to tilt this way, and that's fine. We'll have it rest up against this bar. So, I think let's start by uh, kind of designing out this component. Because this is basically a 90 degree angle, and I'm going to I'm gonna flex it so it is a 90 degree angle. Because it will make my life a little bit easier, but I, I could just estimate it. So, let's get this pipe diameter. Pipe diameter is 14.23. Oh, it's half an inch. Okay. Or it's actually, it's 9 sixteenths is the correct fraction. So, um. All right. Oh, this is the uh, outro music that a YouTuber that I watch uses. I didn't even know that. Huh. There you go. All right. So, we need to have at an odd angle to this. Although, probably not. I mean, let's see something here. We probably want these at roughly the same angle. Yeah. It's going to mostly hold here. But if we have them parallel... No, I want a much higher angle than that. Hmm. 
I'm gonna probably I'm gonna I'm gonna make a part. I'm gonna make a part that flexes, which is more than I bargained for when I got into this, but whatever. So, all right. Um, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna make a new component. We're gonna bring the components together and and do it that way. So, it's uh yeah, it's gonna be just another sketch. But uh, let's do another sketch. But you know what? Let's construct. I'm gonna construct an offset plane off of here. Because that needs to be somewhere up here. And uh, we're also then going to do a uh, plane at an angle. Oh, well, I can't do that. So. Alright, whatever. We'll design it here and I'll end up modifying it later on. Don't care. I'm going to turn off this body. And we're also going to re start renaming our bodies. We should be doing that anyways. Oh, ha, we are on Big Grant. Rip. That's okay. I didn't do anything that was really that big of a deal. Thanks, Allison. Ah, uh, sorry. I only have two monitors. I really need like three or four monitors because I got to keep the stream open. I got to keep OBS open so I can remember to go back. Sorry, guys. All right. So uh, we're going to hide the body, but we're going to rename this to... Um... It's the auxiliary head holder, so that's what I want it to, to be. So we have a pipe here that is 14.24 millimeters. So we're going to do a circle from the middle. And uh, let's do it 14.6. Uh, Give me a little bit of extra here. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a uh, an offset there. This one probably won't hold a ton of weight, so two millimeters is likely just fine. And because we need it to hit, we don't really need it to grab, but if it grabs a little bit, that's okay. We're going to do the same thing like we did last time. We're going to create, you know, very, very small things here. L and X. Do a vertical line. Uh, so let's see. I want it to clip in, but it doesn't need to clip in this much. Ah, Grant, you shouldn't have constrained that. So, I constrained this model to be horizontal or vertical, and I don't want that. But, this will at least assist me in making sure the angle's right. I don't want a ton of it, but if we can get it to clip in, it it's not going to hurt. Uh, well, I'm sorry for apologizing, damn it. Uh, it uh, it's, it's just the way that I do things. It, it is what it is. Uh, all right. Cool. I don't need this to be much longer than maybe 12 millimeters, so let's go ahead and do an extrude here. Uh, 12 millimeters is fine. That goes away. So we've got our other body down there. We do need to, like, rotate this body, so we're going to hit M for move. We want to rotate it, which is going to be a pretty simple thing to do. Should still be on axis, which it is. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, let's extrude this. I don't know. 15. Okay. Well, it looks like it grabbed it there, so we have that. We want, we definitely want to fill at these because if it is going to be something that is clipping on and off, you do want to make sure that you fill at these angles. It's only two millimeters, so if we do uh, 0.75, it should leave us with a small flat in the middle, makes it easier for printing, and that's the way I'm going to do it because I can. Alrighty then. Um, Alright, I can get rid of this. It can go up on my desk. Now, oh, oh, hey, you're back. Hello. Oh, you smell like the litter box. Mmm, litter box. It's my favorite smell. It's okay. Are you having a good day, Miss Victoria? Can we get a like for the cat joining us one more time? Hi. How are you doing? You coming to say hi and show everybody how, how effervescent you are? Because you are effervescent, my little cat. Alright, uh, let's see. Anything on Twitch? Oh... Well, uh, 
Okay, let's see, uh, let's keep going. All right, we've got that part, which is good to have. Now I need to get this, um, so we gotta look at modeling this component. So I think we just model the component, which is probably the safer way to do it. Because Grant learned last time that he can't really model stuff all that well. It's fine, I'm not an expert. That's why I have staff, 18.9. This whole thing is built in inches, which is really, really weird. I don't, I don't expect a lot of products anymore to be built in inches. Sorry, I'm aligning things. It's going to bother me that it wasn't aligned properly. So now it's aligned properly and I feel slightly better. All right, so we know that there's a pipe here that is like 15, uh, 14 millimeters, whatever, I have it in here. Uh, and then it goes to a crossbar at 19 millimeters. 18.9, so 19 millimeters. Um, all right, so let's look at, uh, at drawing that out. Hand it off, how you doing? All righty, so we start... Oh, this is so trippy because it's at an angle to everything. I am not, like, actively working. There we go. Okay. All right. So I need to go ahead and project uh, that line. Probably just project the whole damn thing. Project works really weird in Fusion. Sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and... got to finish the sketch. But I'm going to... I'm going to delete that uh that fillet because the fillet just complicates the design that we're working on so we're not going to bother with it all right so this will basically hardcore contact right in the middle a 19 an 18.9 millimeter rectangle because angles and stuff um so, all right let's do I'm gonna do a center rectangle, so it's under the create center rectangle. I know this needs to be eight. I'm just gonna go straight 19, because I need it to be strong. And the width on this is 42.5. And this ensures that it's centered along that bar so now we're just going to do a line that comes right through the middle which is great why is oh i'm still hit on my center point which is really i'm i'm shifting based on the center point so as i'm moving it's not really moving the way that i'm expecting it to move so forgive me oh i guess i need to do the line all the way over here too because we're going to do a revolve um and you know what? Uh, it's going to get in the way, but I really don't care. I'll change it later. <laughs> We're going to create a revolve. We're going to revolve all of this. Uh, we have the axis being this. And I want it to join. Now, yes, it is going to mess that up, but it's fine. I can just extrude it further later. Uh, although, I am just going to do a new body, which is probably just going to be easier. Because I can take this body here. Where's what's body four? Clearly, I mess up the resolve. Oh, okay. The revolve didn't include that center section too. Okay. Beautiful. Angled pipe mount. Alrighty, uh, so that's where the holder piece is going to be. Now, I'm going to take this body here and I'm going to move it because I don't like it there, but oh no, it has to kind of stay where it's at. Alright, so I will move. This is your problem. Your problem is, and I don't know how to do this, so that's going to be the tough part. Kind of is what it is. Hmm. 
Uh, let's see. I don't know. I'm, uh, so, all right. I'm going back to Big Grant real quick. I will hopefully remember. Uh, Nadav, I don't know if you're still hanging, but we are looking to mount this to here. And I got to figure out all the angles and stuff. So, that's what I'm struggling with. And I'm trying to figure out the right way to really, uh, I guess, clip everything onto there. It's going to be really complicated. I'm going to undo this and see if I can just pull this whole thing apart, because it might be quite useful if I can. See what's inside of it. We're going to do the Dave Jones thing. We're not going to turn it on. We're going to take it apart. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, so it's got some teeth on the inside. It's got this main screw that goes across. It's got a bunch of nice O-ring seals. I'm going to give him credit for those O-ring seals, because those are actually really, really pretty. But, on the bright side, I can remove this piece, and I can replace it with a 3D printed part, which would give me a physical connection point. So this piece would normally go right there to cover the O-ring, okay? Well, I don't need that piece. You do a plate and you wrap it around. That's exactly what I was thinking of doing, but I, I, this goes on here. So I'm thinking that I can 3D print a part and I can attach it right to that screw, which would be a uh, friggin' amazing. Now this metal part is definitely used to crush this O-ring, which is totally fine. Oh, all right. Beautiful! Let's keep doing it. Big Grant goes away, I remember this time. All right, so because we can take advantage of this. Oh, also, this this part is not centered. All right, so actually, this um, this sketch is wrong. So I use a center rectangle, which makes set which made sense at the time, but this is actually completely wrong. So I'm going to take basically this entire sketch and delete it. Because it's going to create lots of problems for me. Um, because if we look on this piece, it is not centered. It is off-center. The center line is actually right there, basically. And if I'm going to take advantage of that screw thread, I need to make sure that, uh, that I do this correctly. So, let's do it. Also, the music is quite low. Let me bring it up a little bit. Alrighty. Uh... So, right off of the edge of this would be the screw. So, if we look, um, this piece, it's centered, and it is, is 18 millimeters wide. So, I need a center rectangle that is 18 millimeters wide. So, let's do that first. We're going to do a rectangle, a center rectangle. Uh, I know I ne it needs to be 18 wide. I forget what the diameter that I needed it to be is, because I was supposed to write notes, and I totally didn't. 18 point... Is that really that small? Is it really the same number? Alright, yep, it is. It's like... eight. Uh, I'm going to call it 19 even. Okay, so now if we do a line... All the way across... Now, when we do our revolve, we're fine. Okay, and I'm going to do another rectangle because it's for the secondary part, uh, which goes up to the shower head. And the secondary part is actually a little bit bigger. So, it is 25 millimeters. So, we're going to do 25 by, by 19. Okay, so I got my two, dis I got my two discrete parts um, I'm gonna also do another line that goes from here to there finish that sketch now the revolve is gonna get mad at me right and we, we kind of expected this oh man why is everything so off today this revolve is gonna be screwed up so we're gonna come back in here we're gonna take a look at it it is round uh, Nadav so it, it, it's a pipe it's a pipe um, 
We're just, you, we're referencing off of it. We're not really going to attach anything hardcore to it. So we want to grab this profile and this profile missing axis, which is this axis. And we are going to do new bodies. Now, if I'm lucky, I should get two new bodies out of the deal. I don't. I only get one. Cool. All right. So I'm going to click off that one. Um, Got to grab that as well. Do the revolve of the one. Now I'm going to do another revolve, which is going to include that second piece here. axis there all the way around and I want to make a new body all right so I've now got my discrete components that I need um, this piece I'm gonna move it um, and since I clicked on that surface it's gonna use that surface for me why are you extruding why are you extruding I want you to move oh I want to move the body okay All right, that should be good. Now we have a screw over here at this end. I'm gonna unscrew it and I'm gonna get some dimensions so we can draw stuff out. All right, so at the end of this, let's, uh, let's get another sketch rolling here. I need to project that surface because that's the surface that I need. Um, I've got an O-ring that comes out and that O-ring is a 15 millimeter o-ring so i'm gonna do a circle from that center point that we can pick up because of the offset 15 millimeters here and uh it's thickness by the way it's a pretty pretty substantial o-ring right so this o-ring has a thickness of o-rings are tough to measure because they're so soft looks like 3.75 i'm gonna go to 3.75 very specifically because I want to squish it when we tighten everything on. I think that's going to help it. Um, so this might be better if we went to like 15.25. Give me a little bit of space to squish that O-ring down. Um, and then the center, uh, the center threads, which we need to deal with, are 8.09 millimeters. So we're going to do a circle. That is... Uh, 8.25 which should get me around them pretty easily and uh, the entire part that we have to work with is this big so we can look at uh, that right there which is five and a quarter millimeters thick so we're gonna go ahead and click finish here um, boy that is not a lot of space for a 3d printed part but we're gonna do it we're gonna friggin' do it. Uh, I'm actually going to tie in this support bracket to it as well, so it, it's gonna screw in and then angle up to hit, and that's gonna be all that we should need to hold it in place if we screw it down tight enough in my head. So let's get our O-ring. Um, our O-ring is uh, 3.75, so I'm actually gonna go to 36 let it let it expand I want to squish it a little bit um, do I I don't know let's see because the this uh, it's this is actually metal which is crazy that this is metal uh, normally on this cheap shit you'd expect it to be crap but 17 millimeters there so yeah it does have some room to expand so I'm gonna give it 3.6 up um, what did I attach that to I didn't click join I need a new body all right so this is our O-ring. Uh, and now we need to create a 3D printed part that can fit there, but is no more than five and a quarter millimeters thick. So let's have some fun. We're gonna go back to the sketch. And uh, this should be substantially far away, but I'm gonna grab this component again. Oof, that's not the move I want. All right, well, we're gonna do another move. We're going to move the body, and I want to move it right from its edge. I'm going to move it up. I want to move it off a little bit that way because there's, you know, there's some welds and some some schmoo there that I don't want us to have to deal with. And I think, like, four or five millimeters ought to do it. 
and gets it far enough away, and that'll make the part substantial enough to get things to fit. Boy, if this works the first time, I'm going to be surprised. Um, but all right, let's keep rolling here. We've, uh, let's see. Um, we need to make a plate, so I'm going to move this sketch. Actually, I'm going to move this, this move, I'm going to move back to there. So when I go into the sketch, I can uh, easily accept what I need to do here. All right, uh, I'm going to play around just with some lines and arcs and stuff, so bear with me here. We want to come from this top surface, but we don't want to be too much bigger. So if I can come... I need to project this. I need to project this edge, because otherwise I'm not going to know what I'm connecting to. All right, so I want to come from the top of this to the top of that, right? And viably from the bottom of this to the bottom of that. I want... I want some parts. Hey, Peter, uh, we are making a part for a shower, of all things. I'll big up, I'll bring up Big Grant real quick so you can see that. Let me go to Big Grant. So this is my new shower head, because Amber broke the old one, uh, and these are, these rain shower heads are great, but they have, like, basically no pressure. They dump water on you, but I want some massaging stuff, so it came with one of these off-handle things. And, uh, yeah, I want to mount it basically like that. And I'm going to have it rotatable so you can kind of aim it wherever you want. Um, I'm going to put this back in the... I'm going to put the Amazon link back in the chat so you guys can see it. And uh, I'm going to remember to remove Big Grant because... Yep, goodbye, Big Grant. All right, so now I'm looking at how to attach things. And I'm still kind of unsure... Um, so I'm just kind of seeing like what I've got to work with, right? I've got all this to work with and I can just like make some real chungus of a part. But if we look right about here, so I'm going to do a line right about there. If we look at this line, this line is basically where the stuff stays together. So I'm going to do like 3.5. That way I know. Oh, you know what? We can, we can do more than that. Uh, let's do 3.75. Uh, nope. 3.6. And this means anything that we extrude to that should be fine, right? It'll, it'll grab it. So if we, uh, let's say we go from here down to there, which is, that now makes it concentric. Um, it's ugly as sin, but it would work. So something to keep in mind. Uh... All right, the other thing we need to do is we need to do an offset because I don't want this part to be all that thick. I want to make sure that we can crush this O-ring effectively. Uh, this is 15 and a quarter wide, which is, I think, is that the diameter of the O-ring that we're dealing with? Yeah, I guess a little bit of room to squish the O-ring, but I want to go even further, so I'm going to offset this. Uh, 0.25, it's giving me a little bit of extra room. So this is really the part that we can print, right? And it needs to kind of dome up to handle the thread. This is a fun one. I think this should give me enough information. So let's bring up that sketch one more time. It's going to be ugly as sin for right now. But uh, I do kind of want to figure things out. So minimally, we need to come up to like there. Right? Um... I'm going to do a join, but this, whoops, uh, whatever body this is, what body are you? So this is the uh, main section connection. Main section connection, I like that. So we're going to hide the main section connection, so uh, anything that we make right now doesn't uh, bond to it. So I'm going to do this, 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 and we're going to come up to probably four millimeters yeah jay says he's never used or they've never used fusion um i'm mainly i've mainly been using blender and it's worked great blender is awesome i don't know much about blender i don't know much about blender i have no like my experience in blender is nil um i'm not great with it to be quite honest and uh that's okay i don't have to be great 
You know what? I'm gonna make this a little bit small, because we do... Well, does this crush the O-ring or not? Let's find out. Yes! If we look at this part... Oh, it's gonna be really hard for me to show off on camera. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the O-ring is proud. So, it does crush the O-ring, so we don't want to go to... 4. We probably want to go to 3.5. And, uh, we're gonna do a join command. So, I am eventually gonna start doing stuff in Blender. I don't know when... But Blender is a really, really powerful program if you're willing to put up with the fact that basically everything useful about it um, comes in the form of add-ons. So, uh, I don't know if Blender is parametric. I know that Fusion is, but I don't know if Blender is. So, who knows? Alright, I'm seeing if Amber saw the picture yet, Allison. Amber has not seen it. Okay, Nadav says, no, it's not, but I bet there's an add-on for Blender to make it uh, parametric. By the way, guys, if you are just joining us, we are making some cool parts for my shower, of all things, which is kind of funny that Grant says the shower's cool, but it's warm. Toasty warm. And uh, don't forget to leave this video a like, and if you are watching on Facebook, if you are watching on um, uh, Twitch or YouTube, make sure you guys get subscribed to the 3D Musketeers YouTube channel, because we do this kind of stuff every friggin week where we make really awesome cool stuff so yeah alrighty uh we've got that you know what i'm gonna choose to go out to four millimeters because i'm gonna put a fillet on this which should make it do better so all right cool we're gonna do a join command um this is gonna end up getting filleted pretty heavily but now we need to do probably a uh Part of me wants to do something that comes along the bottom, too. Um, it's not going to hurt us to do it. Is it going to help us, though? No, probably not. It's not going to help us at all. All right, so this is fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, what I do want to do is I want to come back here. And I want to extrude this away just a hair. And the reason for that is there's going to be a uh, some filleting and stuff on the actual pipe. And I don't want this to get in the way of that and cause things to not fit. So I'm thinking that's how it's going to end up being. And yes, I recognize that takes some meat off of it. It now only leaves us with three millimeters. But we're not holding a lot of weight, so I think we should be okay. And an eighth of an inch of plastic is going to be relatively strong. Um, we'll add some fillets in here to make sure that everything stays nice and strong. But I think that's going to be really the right move. I really do got to try Blender one day. Blender excites the hell out of me. Uh, but it also scares the hell out of me because I don't know a lot about it. So, personal thing. But, um, you know, once I get more confident in Fusion, because I really do need to get more confident in Fusion. Uh, once I get more confident in Fusion, we will uh, look at doing it. So, I want different music than this. Oh, this is one of the new ones. I don't know. Maybe you guys like it, maybe you don't. Uh, we're listening to some Monster Cat. Because it's music that I can use and not get in trouble for. Because <laughs> that's what I like. I like being able to use music and not get in trouble for it. Alright, so now we viably need to make... Oh, Jay, I don't think it's going to let you post a link, but we will see. If you can't post the link... Tweet at us, at 3D Musketeers, um, and I'll show it on the screen if you want. Or uh, email us, youtube at 3dmusketeers.com, but let me know. Um, I'm, I'll let you know. It, it probably won't let you do links. So you either got to uh, tweet, uh, tweet at us or email us. Um, because I don't think it's going to let you post a link otherwise. So, either email us me and I'll show it to people, or uh, tweet at me and I'll show it to people too. Just let me know which one you do so I can make sure I see it all. Alright, uh, let's do the, uh, the actual head part. So, I want to remove... 
Oh, right, this is now on the uh, angle pipe mount. So I want to remove that and I want to extrude. Oops, I need to grab that section. I'm going to hide the O-ring because it really doesn't matter. Uh, and we need to do an offset plane. So is that a profile plane? We're going to do an offset plane. We're going to offset it four millimeters. So it's kind of out of the way. And uh, whoops, I need to grab that. Really? Come on. Give me that bottom surface. There we go. Now we can only go to 5.25, right? We went to four. So we're going to go to uh, to 1.2. Give us a little bit of extra room. Okay, they tweeted at me. So let me go to Twitter. Let me pull it up. Dude! Guys, 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 look at that! Dude! Jay! Bro! Holy hell, that's gorgeous, my dude! How many pieces is that printed in? Those prints are gorgeous! Holy shnikes, dude! That's stellar! Wow. 0.15 millimeter layers using vanilla white prusament. Wow. 40 pieces. Bro, you got way more time in the world than I do. But I'll be... Damn. Uh, Jay, you know what? You've earned it. I'm going to give you a retweet. Yeah, Jay, you earned a retweet for that, so I got you, brother. <laughs> Dude, 20 hours after to model. Wow. So you had 20 hours in the modeling? Or 20 hours... How, like, how much time did it take to print? How much time did you have in modeling? And then even further, how much time did it take you to assemble? I am really curious, but... Damn, bro. That is... Are these files available because the better three quarters is, um, loves Animal Crossing and I think she would love this. I just got done with the resident services for Animal Crossing. 20 hours to model it. Okay. Yeah, Jay, you gotta come on the podcast, man. Um, let me follow, I'm gonna follow you back. Um, now you can DM me. Um, DM me. I'd love to have you on the podcast. Justin's right. This is really cool and I want to show this stuff off to more people. Just maybe not the girlfriend too much because she's going to start putting in requests and then tell me to print them for her. But dude, boy, howdy. That is, um... Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to Jay's Twitter because I can. Uh, he's CEO at FTA Studios. It's a game development company. Look at this. You're getting shoutouts on a live stream. Oh, this is why you're good at Blender, because you <laughs> you, own, you own a game dev company that runs in Blender. Ah, my man. I like this. Uh, I, I'm going to, like, peruse it here. Wow, dude. Did you do Transformer stuff, too? My man. Dude, I got to learn Blender. And yes, the Mini Plus is so cool. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, let me know if you tweet at me with this stuff again, because then I'll, I'll bring it back on screen. Very, very cool. Alright, we're going to get back to actually working instead of oogling over Jay's cool work. Yeah, man, uh, send me a DM and uh, let's get you on the podcast. This, this is why Justin hangs out, because Justin knows when I should be asking people to come on the podcast. We're going to fill it this inner edge because that inner edge is uh, going to help us squish the O-ring. So we're going to fill it to like 0.6. No, no, we're going to do a one millimeter fillet. That's really going to squish that O-ring down. Um, 
and of course give us some extra strength now this is not ideal for printing this whole part is not ideal for printing uh but that's okay we're gonna print it the best method quite frankly i might end up doing this out of resin we'll see um but there's a lot more we got to do here so all right we got that done so this and for those that are joining us this is a uh, an adapter for my shower i'm just making sure did he tweet at me again no okay jay let me know if you tweeted us again so i can pull it up and show people but yeah for those just joining us we are making an adapter to hold this off head shower head onto this rain shower head which by the way if you don't have a rain shower head friggin get one they're amazing i will one more time post it in our uh, our youtube description and i guess i should go over to facebook and do that so let me go to facebook and put it in the damn comments it's hard when you got to do three different uh streams at once i didn't realize how difficult streaming was going to be when you got to do a lot of it somebody's pinging me for some reason what's going on Why am I being pinged? I don't know what they're talking about, but of course, as I'm working, everybody else is is being a bunch of ding dongs posting. So, oh, I gotta do it as 3D Musketeers. No, I gotta comment as 3D Musketeers. All right, so we got our shower head in question comment posted. All right, let's keep rolling. Rolling in the deep. Um, all right. We got our main part here. We got an O-ring on the inside that's going to O-ring seal it. There's a hole that goes through this. Don't worry about it. This is the part that already exists. So that's going to help us set our angle, which is good. We're going to utilize existing threads, uh, which is awesome. I am so excited for this. Like, I am so friggin' amped to do this. All right, so now we need to uh, pull off of this part, right? Yes. So we need to pull off of this part and this part here, and actually, we should we should extend this all the way to give it more thickness. Cause the thicker, the better. Am I right? I'm right. I don't need anybody to tell me that. It's a joke. Oh, and I have Tampa Bay Inventors Council this weekend, or uh, today. Oops, be joining that one a little bit late. Uh, by the way, if you are in the Tempe area and you do consider yourself an inventor, do consider joining the Tempe Inventors Council. I am on their board of directors, so you would get to hang out and, uh, you know, talk shop with me. Uh, you know, so that, that's a benefit, right? That's a benefit. Um, but on top of that, we really do help you get from where you are to where you want to be. So, uh, Inventors Councils are really, really awesome for people that do need it. So, all right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to end up doing a part that has a hinge. So one part of the hinge will attach to this. The other part of the hinge will attach to that. We're going to use a, um, probably a socket head with a nylon lock nut. So I'm going to try to do it in M5 since I do know where my nylon lock nuts for M5 are. And do a, um, a, a detent thing. So it kind of locks into certain places. I think this is what I want to do for this one. This is going to be a really good live stream. I'm excited for this. And it's going to make an even better edited down live stream. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Editors, if you're watching this, here's to you. All right. So now we need to look at doing all of our off access. What is body six? Body six is the other side. Other side and irrelevant. <laughs> um, so we got our aux head holder. We have our angled pipe mount. Now we need to look at another part that starts to get everything together. So we want this to be on axis like it stands right now. So we, we want them to be kind of in line, right? And the idea of having everything in line assists us in making everything fit properly, all right? I don't want this shower head to be off kilter or anything like that. And it's going to be a little bit, I don't really care. I'm going to make it work. So, all right, uh, let's look at what we need to do. So let's deal with... Box head holder can just go away for right now. Um, actually, no, I probably do need it. So what is it angled off of? They're centered, but I guess the angle doesn't really matter. 
We have a cloudburst shower head and it's amazing. What the hell is a cloudburst shower head? Let's find out. By the way, did you guys uh, shop on Prime Day? If you did, what did you get? Ooh. Oh, uh, Cloudburst shower heads. I don't see them here. Cloudburst shower. Let's see what they look like. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh, those are one of the really, really fancy hardcore ones. Oh man, yes. This Amber wants one of these so bad. Oh yeah, 300 bucks. Oh shit, uh, don't show this to Amber. No one show this to Amber. If you all show this to Amber, I'm gonna, I don't know. Don't show it to Amber. <laughs> uh, Amber's probably listening or at least has it on at work. So hi Amber, we love you. Uh, yeah, no, that's a dope. $300 is really cheap for that. It would be a pain for me like to install this one was like so easy an idiot could do it because an idiot did do it but uh yeah oh not those i'm told okay uh let's see other ones that's literally the only one that i see on their website huh if it is something different allison it's a star shape head i can't find it it must be a uk specific thing and that's okay. For some reason, it doesn't let people freaking post, um... Uh, let's see. Live chat. I want the live chat. Go ahead and, uh, try to post the link. I wonder if that's gonna do it. I don't want to see timestamps. I don't care about that. Participants. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if you can try to post the link, um, I don't know if it's going to work, but hopefully it does. We'll see. Anyways, let's get back at it here. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to come down and we need to come out some. Because that's how we're going to have our connection. So, let's look at go ahead and doing that right now. So, I'm going to pull off of this section right here. I'm going to come straight down from it. So, let's just pull E straight down. Something like that. Thirty's probably pretty good because you you do have to have a uh, you, you got to have some some in between for them to really like you know come together. If that makes sense. So um, I do need to turn off that piece as well as the O ring. We're going to join that. I do want this to be a little bit bigger, so we'll just extend this. Ooh, nope. We don't want that. So I'm going to do two object. I wanted to go to this object. Is that not going to work? That's not going to work. All right, so I'll get rid of that object. I want to go to... I want this profile... But I want to go to that edge. Oh, that's not going to work. All right. So never mind. It's going to be profile plane and... Ah, uh... oh, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. Yeah, that's not going to work. All right. Well, that's okay. We'll figure it out later. I can just probably take this and extrude it straight in. Just like that. And as long as I click join... It's like I meant to do it. This is so ugly. I don't want that. I'm gonna end up... Oh god, someone's calling me. Uh, no. Sorry, I'm busy. Uh, let me just make sure. No, I will call them back. I know who it is. I'll call them back. Sorry! You know who you are that's calling me. I can't help you right now. I'm on a live stream. So if we do something like that, that's gonna make it look a lot more elegant. And that's probably what we're gonna look for. And we could even come all the way down like that and really add a bunch more plastic, but it's likely not necessary, so we'll push it back. Just like that. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's pretty, right? It's, it, it's, it's pretty. Ow. 
Allison, can you email it to me or tweet at me with it? Um, and I will, uh, I will show it off for people. Oh, man. So much stuff going on. Oh, hey, uh, we got the, uh, the new piece from Jay. Jay, sh Jay tweeted at me with another piece, so here, um, here's the resident services building. Dude. Dude, I gotta have you on our podcast. This is so dope. I... Man, I wish I had modeling skills like that. Jay's literally sitting here like, look at this dumbass working, working his ass off, doesn't know what he's doing. I'm like, yes, Jay. I agree. Dumbass. Uh, I want to fill it this because I am eventually going to do that, and I think it is going to be valuable because I want these to be circular. So to do that, we're going to fill it until it just comes together in a nice, pretty circle, just like that. And so, when we go ahead and do a sketch on here, and we do a project, theoretically, it should give us the center of that circle, which it totally does. Uh, I am going to grab a circle off of that. I'm going to make it um, 5.3, which I know fits M5 really, really well, which is dope. Um, I got to get my hardware box, so I'm going to set this head, I'm going to set this head down. He says, nah, you're not dumb. Anything can be learned. You're right. Anything can be learned. And if you are out there saying, I'm too stupid to do this, I challenge you because I am no expert on this. And if I can do it, so can you. And I hope that I make these easy enough that if you are just trying to learn this for the first time, that, uh, you know, you can get it done. I got to lift up this big box of, I've got a big bin big bin of uh hardware that i still need to sort through that i never did because you know that's how we do things around here uh i've got some gorgeous m5 by 25 and of course ladies and gentlemen it's freaking stainless steel as it should be so let me uh where the heck i need to get the tape off all right beautiful m5 by 25 I've got some M5 nylon lock nuts, um, which will do the fancy thing and, uh, and inset them because it's just more fun that way. Gotta find my lock nuts. There are my lock nuts, right? These are M5 lock nuts. Yep. M5 lock nuts. Although I should see those are not stainless. Ah, here we go. M5 nylon lock nuts. By the way, if you are looking to get some cheap hardware, ah. TrimCraftAviationRC.com. Um, that is, uh, yeah, totally recommend them for hardware. Uh, cheap as borscht. Um, so yeah, now we have this nice long thread. It may not need to be this long. I've got some smaller sections, but I needed to get some sizing. So here we are. Uh, we know that 5.3 will fit an M5 nice and cleanly. Now I gotta get the uh, the head diameter. Head diameter on this is 8.5. So let's do another circle at, uh, cause I wanna inset this a little bit. Let's do a circle at, uh, I don't know, let's do it at nine. Give us lots of extra room. And see, that's really good. If you're gonna put an M5 in there, this gives us enough room to do the hole, right? So we can come here, do this, go all the way through, right? And now we've got ourselves the hole that we need. We're going to do this, and we're going to inset this. Uh, I don't know. At least at least two millimeters. Yeah, that's probably fine. Let me see how deep this is. This part is 5.183 millimeters deep. Whatever. Um, that's okay. We're just kind of... We're doing stuff. Oh, hey, I didn't notice that. I got to readjust this fillet. Let me readjust this fillet because it did kind of mess things up. Okay. Okay. Yep, because we, we want to make sure that we leave room for all that stuff. So there we go. I am going to fill it this edge too because I think we can get away with it. Okay. Pretty, 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 pretty princess. Let's do it. Oh, what I think the pretty, pretty princess is going to end up being a, 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 a freaking outtake in a video. Whatever. Whatever. You're just joining us. We are making some really cool parts for a shower. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, if you are joining us on Facebook or you or uh, Twitch, make sure you head over to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 3D Musketeers, and get yourself subscribed. And if you are on our YouTube channel hanging out, make sure you are subscribed. Leave this video a like because, yeah, we're rolling. We're going to keep going here. Um, now, I could use the same sketch, but I'm not going to to make the detents. I'm going to make a new sketch because I can, and I know this is, like, really bad sketch etiquette, but I don't really care. don't really care. So I do need to project uh, the circle from the other side because I need to have my detents on the outside of that. So we're going to do uh, a circle, and uh, we're going to do a circle, I don't know. Let's do uh, two millimeters. Yeah. All right, we're going to put that somewhere here, L, X, bring this straight down just like that. Uh, we are going to do a coincidence from here to here, that way I know it's there, and we're also going to dimension the center of this to this line. Why is it some weird angle? There. Uh, let's do six millimeters. Yeah. All right, so, whoop, oh, I need to bring that sketch back, hold on. All right, so I gotta do a line that comes from here down through to here, uh, cause I got I'm gonna revolve this into a little detent. Um, I think one should be enough, but uh, let's let's give ourselves two just in case. I can always cut one off if I need to. Uh, so we're gonna do this and this. Center pattern is here. I don't want a full. I want angles. So. Whoops. Probably do an angle because it's most likely that it's gonna, yeah. Do it like that. We'll have them 35 degrees apart, which is probably fine. Um, all right, so now we can finish our sketch and create our revolve here and here. Axis there and. Dang it, Bobby. All right, uh, we want to join it. So now we have our detent. Two millimeters is a pretty big detent. Uh, that might be too big. Uh, we'll, we'll find out the hard way. Gonna join. Uh, I am thinking that one's gonna be enough. So I'm gonna suppress this. I'm still gonna leave it there, but I'm gonna suppress it. I think that's gonna make it good for us. So that's gonna get us that one little detent point. Um, no, Grant. No, 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 no. I don't know. Anyways, let's do that second part. So, uh, we can do that all from here. Because we know the size that we have. And if we take this and we project it. It shows us where. That is the bottom. So, we need to make sure that our part doesn't come above that. So... We need to do a circle that starts here and comes out to there. That's going to be the secondary part. We're also going to bring some lines off of it. I don't know, 20? Sure. Come across, come up. Uh, we're going to have this be equal to that. And uh, we want this to be perpendicular to that. Beautiful. All right, now all we need to do is we need to measure out from here to the center point. Uh, I don't know. Let's do 20. Good enough. Sure. Beautiful. All right, so we now need to extrude this, this, and this. Needs to be extruded outward. Um, I'll need to also grab all of these. Need to bring this all outward. I'm going to do a new body for this because that is what we need. We need to do a new body. I'm thinking, yeah, four or five millimeters should be plenty. Okay. Um, now what we need to do is, I take this and Grant, how do you do this? You're trying to think in your head how you do this. Uh. Uh, I want to create the circular pattern of the hole, so... Oh, I know what to do. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to go to combine. And uh, this is my target body. This is my tool body. 
And uh, I'm gonna cut it, but I'm gonna keep the tools. Wrong way around. I want my target body to be this, my tool body to be that. We're gonna cut it, but we're gonna keep the tools. Okay. So now, when we look at this part here, we get rid of it, we're left with that hole. So now, we're gonna use our press pull tool, and we're going to, whoops, I need to get rid of the sketch. We're gonna take this, oh, what the hell is going on here? No, press pull, turn this off, no, turn off the sketch. I'm gonna grab this, and I'm gonna do uh, 0.15. Ooh, negative. Want to be a little bit bigger. Um, even point one is probably fine. I'm gonna go cook supper. I'll stay. I'll still be here though. Might have to check this Fusion 360 thing out. It is really nice, Jay, and it does have a whole sculpting side. Um, so there's, uh, I think it's in design or generative design. I don't know where it is, but it's got a sculpting thing, and I haven't touched it because, yep, scares the ever-loving hell out of me. Uh, so I'm not going to touch it. Um, but you are clearly more intelligent than I am, so I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, so let's go ahead and we need to do a circular pattern. Pattern, circular, and we are going to do a feature, which is this. We're going to select it along this center. Oh, jeez! Why'd you slam the door? Oh, man. No, I didn't. Oh, my God. John's home. Uh, oh, man. Oh. Even the cat got scared. Oh. <laughs> We're good. We're good. I, th I thought someone was robbing me for a minute there. I thought someone was trying to rob us there, John. Woo. I'm awake, and now my back hurts. All right, kitty. Attack. Go attack. Go attack him. Attack. Go go be an attack cat. It's just John. <laughs> Allison said we all heard that. Sorry, I know the, the dogs three counties over heard that. Oh, man. I am a... Uh... Woo! <laughs> Alright, first I need to uh, I need to create an axis. Um, I gotta create an axis perpendicular to a point, which is this. Whoops. I had to create an axis uh, through two planes, which would be fine here. Why won't you let me do both? All right, construct axis. Oh, there. Okay, there we go. So now we have our axis to do our circular pattern. We can go to pattern, circular pattern, uh, objects. Oh, it's a face thing. So I actually want to do features, which that is the feature. Axis is here. And I want to do lots of these, so we want these to be basically touching each other. Because the more options that we get, that is going to be too much. That should be perfect. That gives us lots of... Oh, uh, where'd they go? It's a weird song. I don't like this song. Different song. Okay. Uh, why are you not cutting in? You're not cutting in for some reason. Oh, suppress. I don't want to suppress these. What the heck is going on? Am I being an idiot here? Do it as a face. Face, objects, this. There. Alright, that worked. Okay, now we're going to come through and we're going to fill it these. Because we want these to basically roll into each other. Ooh, that's not a very streamer-friendly song. Good lord have mercy, dropping F-bombs on the stream. Uh, Alright, so we can't do one. Uh, let's do 0.25. Boy, are you going to let me not do anything? Okay, I can do that. Can I do 0.1? Okay, all right. Can I do point two? No, I need to have bigger fillets in this, so we're gonna come into the uh, 
into this and we're gonna cut it down to 14 so now we do our fillet should be better All right, let's look at a one millimeter fillet again. Yeah, see, that's something that I'm going for like that. So they kind of ride into each other, right? Is 14 enough though? Yeah, no, I, I want to be higher than 14. And it's got to be an even number. So I actually think 16 is going to be it. Do 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 all over the places. Feel it's all over the places. Nope, doesn't like it. Doesn't like that. Point one five. It ain't much, but it's gonna work. I want to get the biggest friggin' fillet that I can here. Wow. It's literally 0.15. Look at that. Go figure. Who's bothering me? Hmm. Alright. So we got that, and I believe we can also come in and fill at this edge. We can! Alright, cool beans. Alright, so we don't want them to go that deep, but we do want to fill it at some. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. I wonder... I don't think this is gonna work. What do you guys think? Um, I don't think this is gonna work. I think I should... I'd be better for me to make a channel. So it at least all stays aligned. I don't need it to click in. I need it to be strong. All right, Grant, it's what we're doing. Let's do it. All right, we're going back. We're getting rid of all that. We're going to revolve. Uh, we don't have a profile, do we? Hmm. What do we have on this sketch? Uh, all right. Uh, I could do a side profile. I guess that's what we'll do. It's not really what I wanted to do, but Yeah, cuz this is gonna be the better way to do it. Oh And you know what I got to actually do the sketch in the middle of the part So I need to construct a, uh, a mid plane between here and here uh, Because when we do this sketch it actually matters quite a bit. All right, so I'm just gonna literally project. Uh, maybe not. I, I, I will project this, so I have my line where I want it. All right, so whoops, I need to project the big one. Whatever. I want to do a circle from this point. I'm gonna bring it out to that point, which is what I needed. All right, cool. All right, now we're gonna do a revolve. We got this profile along this axis, which this is probably better overall. It it should work better, I think. Um, but now that we're gonna do that this way, uh, I want to go back and uh, specifically to this circular pattern, uh, and I want to put the other one actually at 180 degrees. And uh, when we're done with that, I'm going to unsuppress this. And so, uh, that should, if I'm right, and what we'll do is we can do this with a, uh, inspection section analysis here. If I did this right, and I think I did, we should see two balls. Yeah. Cool. 
All right, that's what I want to see. I'm going to give it some leeway because I don't think the printing process is going to be perfect. Um, and I could put ball bearings and all this. I'm not doing any of that crap. This is like one of those you set and forget, and that's all that you really need to do. All right, so we've got that. This is, it's going to end up connecting to the aux head holder, so I'm not too concerned. All right, so we're going to, we got to move this part. So let's go ahead and move it. Um, we're going to move the entire body. And we're going to move this body straight down. And uh, we are going to grab it a little off axis, but I think that's going to be okay. Um, yeah, I think we're actually coming up to a conclusion on this one. This is going to be so baller. I am so excited for this. All right. Uh, we've got that. Um, cool. We are going to turn off. Uh, that. I'm gonna go to modify. And actually, I should turn on sketch one. Uh, because I moved it, it won't matter. Right. Uh, it's gonna automatic capture position. Cool. Alright, well, I need to do modify, combine, this and this. And I'm going to join. I'm not gonna keep the tools, so we're gonna join them together. So I got a new aux head holder. I do need to create a uh, another sketch here. Uh, I could have done this before, but I didn't. So, you know, you pay the price. Okay, I need to do a circle here to this edge. Cool, I need to do an extrude out here. Done, cut through it. Bob's your auntie. Uh, angled pipe connector. So there you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some crazy fracking fillets onto here. Now, what I should probably do is make that come in at a 90 degree, but I don't have the patience to deal with that, so we're not going to do it. And this is my live stream, and I can do what I want. Yeah, big, big, big fillets. Um, same thing down here. I want some big fillets down here. I like big fillets, and I cannot lie. Basically. Uh, I want some big fillets because it's going to add a lot of strength this unit doesn't have otherwise. Uh, so, cool beans. Beautiful. Alright, we can get rid of that. That! I think that's my part. I think that's my part. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason for it not to be. Uh, let me fill it here and here. Uh, 0.5 maybe. Yeah. Another one there. Um, just kind of rounds out the edges, makes it a little bit less uh, harsh. Uh, because we are dealing with an O-ring, I want to put this to like a uh, point... Nah, I can probably do 0.5 on that. Nope. Do a 0.2 millimeter fillet there, just so it's not as a harsh edge. I don't want to rip the O-ring. That would be a disaster. Uh, yeah. Turn on the analysis. We can see we've got our ball detents in there to keep everything safe. Oh, you know what? Um, hmm. From here to here is how far? 8.183. I can use an M. Woo. Okay, an M5 by 8. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to, it's something that I haven't done, I don't think I've done it many times, uh, but I'm going to actually install the lock nut so it fits into the part. Um, now the cool thing is we should be okay. Okay, it's a eight millimeter inscribed polygon. Do I have a sketch that is that exterior surface? No? Cool. I'm gonna go before all of these fillets because it's just gonna make my life a little bit more complicated. Gonna grab a sketch on that. We're gonna project this surface. Cool beans. We're going to create a polygon and we want it to be uh, from flat to flat, which I think is circumscribed. Yes. Eight point. Oh, right. It has to be, it's half of it. So it's 4.05. That's what I want. Okay. 
And uh, all I gotta do is make a parallel between here and here, which is what I want. Uh, cool beans. All right, and now we can take this. We can ex we can extrude this back in maybe one millimeter should be fine. Um, we're checking out the thickness of this and it is three. So I'm gonna go in two. Um, no, I'm gonna go in just one. And that's gonna allow it to sit in, but I can still grab it with a pair of pliers if I need to. And, well, uh, so I, I'm thinking of like using an M5 by eight, which I think that's what these are. Oh no, these are M5 by 10. Are they M5 by 10? Let's find out. The M5 by 10 uh, were totally cool. Yep, M5 by 10. Cool. We are Gucci fam. We're going to put it like that just so the plastic can give it a little bit of extra strength. Um, but it might end up rounding it out, and that's okay. The bolts are long enough where we can just add a washer onto it. Uh, so, yeah. Totally, totally cool. Uh, I am going to fill it the edges here because I think that is important to do. Uh, you know what? I need to move this body. I need to move it. I just need to move it, like, literally half a millimeter away so I can grab both the edges to fill it them. Because otherwise, I can't grab all of these edges. And the goal for this is just to let the, the screw go in easier. I'm just going to do a 0.2 millimeter fillet. It doesn't have to be much. Uh, now, I'm thinking, and I know, Grant, thinking, it's, it, it, it's dangerous. Um, I'm thinking that I don't want, this was like... Pretty far away I'm thinking I want to bring this in 0.05 and what we'll do is we're gonna fill it here and here 0.2 uh, which should allow everything to ride in there just a little bit easier that's gonna be so cool uh, you know what grant uh, we're gonna suppress that I, I I'd rather I'd rather have it be a little bit too big than a little bit too small so yeah uh, guys, I, uh, I, I think we did it. This gets me the holder that I'm looking for. It puts it away and down. Um, oh, I gotta go ahead and, uh, add all that in. Those are all my fillets. Um, hmm. What else can we fill it? Uh, let's see. Let's fill it that. We'll fill it that. Oh, it's everything else. Okay. One? Is that too big? Not too big? Nah, I like that. That looks good. You know me, I like my fillets. I like my fillets like I like my coffee. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that, honestly. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's good. Good connection points all around. I guess I'll fill it this back edge a little bit. It's not really all that necessary. Ooh boy, that's a long chain right there. All right, we'll fill it that. Um, we'll leave that a flat mating surface. Filling this would be pretty, but I think it's gonna require pretty small fillets to make it happen. I can do half a millimeter fillet, all right. I'm down. Now, I do want to check my analysis. Uh, I'm gonna suppress this move real quick so I can get these back to where they belong. That's a ton of space. Uh, let me unsuppress this. Oh, geez, we could go even farther than that. Uh, seven? How much did I add? Also, why is that not even? Oh, because I'm not at the center of the ball. I mean, even that is fine. Yeah, I, I, you need some, so like, let's measure between here and there. Oh, there are two faces. Uh, rip. Uh, let me do 
6.1. So now let me check my faces. Why are you not telling me my distance? Dang you, Fusion. Alright. Oh, I gotta try to find the center of this ball. Oh, yeah. They actually contact. Okie dokie. Alright. So... I'm gonna cancel this. I'm actually going to uh, suppress it. Okay, so now we've got... Uh, how much distance between these two? 0 0.1 millimeter? Honestly, that's nothing. I'm fine with that. Alrighty. Uh, guys, I think we did it. I, uh... I... I, I think we friggin' did it. I think we friggin' did it. This is like one of the better ones in a while. I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to two for this. I no, cause from here to there is eight, and my bolts are ten, and these are nylon lock nuts, so it's gonna be a little a little spicy. Um, you know what we should do? I should bring these. I should bring those balls in a little bit closer. So let me find that sketch. Okay, it's right here. Uh, I want these to be maybe five. It's the cool thing about CAD, because I can bring this in a little bit, hit finish, and literally everything else updates. So yeah, that's gonna be this is gonna be a lot stronger. I'm I'm happier with this. Um Yeah, and that lets me also uh It lets me fill it. Fill it this edge, which I really, really want to do. Um, I, I think it's very important. Because I want to reduce, to some extent, the mating surfaces. How much contact they have with each other. And allow them to kind of smooth over. But yeah. Guys. This is it. Guys and gals. All parties involved. I think we got it. This is the only thing that I'm not like 100% certain of. This is like amazing. And honestly, I'm really happy with myself about it. Like, really happy with myself about it. And my only concern here is... It is going to try to pull it down. Crap. I think I did it backwards, because... The weight's going to try to pull it down. Yeah, this has to be... Okay. I got to, uh... I got to find where I did this all the way back here. And, uh... I gotta do... Yeah, so, like, this isn't gonna work, right? Or is it? I have my part here, and if I'm putting weight on it... Yeah, you know, it might. The lever arm might do what I want it to do. If it doesn't, we will fix it. Uh, maybe we'll fix it on, like, an impromptu live stream. But I am very, 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 very happy with this. This is better than I expected and definitely not what I was planning on designing. But that's kind of the part of why we do this. So you guys can uh, you know, look at ways to think outside of the box. Um, is that going to work? No, you're not going to give that to me, are you? Ways that you can really look at what you're doing for your design and look at doing it differently. Like, this is so far outside of the box. I, I'm, I'm confused as to where the box is even located. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I am so excited. These are the printed parts that we're going to print, so uh, this will be a time-lapse coming up. Actually, and since you guys stayed till late, this is going to be the time-lapse for time-lapse Thursday. Let me go to Big Grant so I can show you. Uh, time-lapse Thursday is going to be this part, so. It's pretty cool. It's an SD card box holder. Justin said, box who? What are you talking about, Justin? Justin? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Justin. Uh, but yeah. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. This cat is excited to be here. Just look at her. Bristling with excitement. Bristling with excitement. I have no idea what he's talking about when he says box who. But anyways, this part doesn't exist. And that's why this is cool. You said this... This for outside. Oh, this is far outside. Ah, it's so far outside the box. He's saying box two. Okay. Oh, I hate the YouTube comments so far behind. Anyways, guys, 
Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Let's hit it up with some crab rave. Let's go. Real quick, uh, Allison sent me her, her, uh, shower head thing that she uses, so, yeah, there you go, guys. That's, that's shower head she uses. That's actually pretty hard. I dig it. Anyways, that's all. Have a good one. Enjoy Crab Rave. We'll see you later. Scanning to the sky You can't believe you're 